Hey there, Norman here from WoCode, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Media Slider widget. Have you ever wished that you can mix videos and images in a slideshow on your site? Well, wish no more. The Media Slider widget allows media to be mixed in any way you like. Each slide in the slider accepts images, videos, and even GIFs. This do-it-all widget represents the most powerful and flexible slideshow widget in our entire library. Five different layout styles allows you to display your media as a carousel, vertical slider, and more. Additionally, content can be mixed and matched as you like on a per slide basis. Let's jump into the builder and take a look at how we're going to set this up. Here in the builder, we have our Prairie Animal Clinic template, and I'd like to add the Media Slider widget as the hero row on the top of the home page to replace this static background image and text in order to capture the site visitor's attention and give some movement and life to this page. If we take a look at our preview site here, we can see exactly what we'll be recreating today. We can see the media slider widget is adding a nice additional layer of movement and depth to the hero section, creating a familiar look with a modern smooth feel. Let's head back into the builder and get started. Now, before we get started, we've got a little bit of housekeeping to do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this top row. I'm going to add a new row in its place and I'm going to clear out the padding. And then I am also going to open the row setting and enable full bleed. Now we should be good to go to open our widgets panel, grab that media slider and drag and drop that right onto the page. Now immediately we see the media slider is already looking pretty good right out of the box, but we want to add our own content into this widget and style the text a bit. So let's take a look at how to do that. We'll open the widget and start in our content panel. Here in the content panel, there are a number of options available. If you've ever used the photo gallery widget or the original image slider widget, then you should be pretty familiar with how to set up and use this widget. That said, let's run through a few options here. Let's start by deleting all the images in this widget so we can add our own. And to do that, we'll simply use the delete all button up here at the top. Once clicking that, all the content within the slider will be removed. Next, we can add our content by using the add new slide button, which will expand this panel and give us the click to add button option right over here. However, we wanna add multiple pieces of media at one time. So I will use the add multiple files button to add multiple images at once. We'll select our images here, we'll click done, and now those have been added. But I also wanna add a video. So we'll click the add media button and then we will go into our videos section of our picker and we will select our video. We can click done here. I wanna rearrange this to the front and now we're good to go. We have our content added into the media slider. Now let's take a closer look at the slide settings that are available to us. Here on the right side of the slider, we can see here we have a number of options. We have our position. This sets the position of the image or video relative to the slider widgets container. We have our alt text option, which enables search engines to recognize image content. If we expand the text on slide panel, we have our slides title, which is the title that will be visible on the slide. We have our description, which is the descriptive text that will be visible on the slide. We can expand the button drop down and we can give the button a label as well as link the slide to content on the site. I'll go ahead and add some content into these slides and link the buttons and then I'll be right back. Okay, perfect. I've got some content added into each one of the slides. That'll do it for the content tab. Let's move on over to the design tab and take a look at how to style this widget. Here in the design tab, we have quite a number of options available, most of which are related to text styling and padding and are pretty self-explanatory. However, there were a few that I did want to go over specifically. 
The first one being the layout options. Here you can set the layout from the media slider. There are five very different layouts to choose from, such as a card layout and a testimonial layout. And for this example, we'll be leaving this on the hero slider layout. The next option I want to go over is in the transition tab, and that is the pause slideshow on hover option. This does what the name describes and allows the slideshow to pause while the mouse is hovering it to better allow the user to click on the current slide that they're on. Next, I want to go over the navigation indicator options. This is where you will style the navigation indicators. The first option we have is display. This sets the display behavior of the navigation dots, either always on, only display on hover, or never display at all. We'll leave this as always on. Next, we have the size. This sets the size of the navigation indicator dots. For this example, I want to change this to 15. Below that, we have the space in between. This sets the space between the navigation indicator dots. For this example, I want to max this out at 30. And finally, we have the color. This sets the color of the active indicator dot. For this example, I will use this orange color, which is already prominent in this template. If we keep moving down, we have our text style options. As the name implies, this is where you will style the widget's text. And in here, I want to go into the title section and just change the font size to be 48. As well as remove the bold style that is already applied by default. Perfect. And that's all for the option panel for this widget. Let's go ahead and grab our preview URL and let's take a look at this widget in action. Right here at the top of the page, we see our media slider widget is looking great and adds some nice additional movement, creating an attention grabbing interactive effect to an otherwise static page. Also, be sure to check out our demo page for this widget to get inspired with ideas on other ways you might be able to use this widget on your site. Also, be sure to check out our media slider sections available in the sections panel for some excellent pre-styled and ready to use media slider widgets. That said, my name is Norman Durkee and you've been rocking with the best website builder platform on the web wocode.com and until next time and as always if you have any questions please reach out to support we're always here to help